Very cute. Different. I hadn't seen one like that before. Yeah, that's very cute. Very pretty. I like that. Mm-hmm. Bracelet. Uh, is it going to a drawer because it's got rhinestones on it? Yeah, rhinestones. Third drawer. Uh huh. I think we have some silver rings here. I'm putting on the first one is stones, and I believe. Let's see what size it is. It is a size five and three quarters. Yeah, that's what I polished up for you. It looks like it's got, um, I don't know what stone that is in that. It looks like it is, um, and then I'm, I can't think, lapis. It is marked on the inside. And I can't read it. what it's saying. 925. Now I can't. Okay. So it's marked 925 right there. Right there. And I believe that's the lapis. And then this one is a little rose ring. I don't see a, wait a minute, I see something right there, can't read it, but I can test it. Might as well test this one while we're at it. And this one also, I think, is a six. I could be wrong. It's so thin. I could wear small. Yeah, it's a six. Six is right here. <clears throat> and we're going to test these real quick. This is the little rose ring, and that's the lapis ring. And I need some new Q tips. There's the rose ring. And here's the other. So they're both silver they're both silver. Which I knew they were. Oh, so. The same thing. It marked 925 already. Yeah. Or, no. Oh, you got one? Good. Yeah. Yeah, put it there. And this may be another one, honey. So okay. I'll go ahead and test it, too. Yeah, it's scratching silver. But I will test it. Properly test it. And then I'll show it. And I got a ring for you. Oh no. Oh yes, this one's silver too. Yippy skippy. It is a size bigger than a six, because it's big on me. It's a seven and a half. Awesome. This is probably about a size twenty. Oh <laughs> my gosh, look at there. Woohoo! Yeah. Genie Lotta can't genie. Lottie Canada. And then here's a little tiny teeny weeny ring. Well, that is cute as it can be. A little key ring. A little tiny purse here. Very cute. I love it. We'll put that in curiosity. Yeah. If your horn breaks in your car, you could use that for a honker. Yeah. Uh. I can't this. Knock somebody out with it. Yeah. 
Here's a pretty little pearl bracelet. It's Mark Pavon, I believe. Of course. Maybe. No, it's a SHB. So I don't know who that is, if that's Avon or not, but Avon has that kind of tag. Little extender, very pretty. I don't see any markings on the lobster claw class. <clears throat> oh, look at this pen. It extends way out past the class, which is nice because it's a long pen. It's a JJ. I love our JJ, and it's Cupid. Isn't that sweet? Love it. Put that in the third drawer, please. It's awesome sauce. Here's a pretty little pink bracelet with little charms, heart charms. And it's got mom on it. I love mom. Very pretty. Yeah, let's do it like that so you can see the charms. It's in good shape. Ouch. I'll make this, get this out next. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> wow, this is awesome. I'll get this out of the way. I don't want to touch anything. Okay, you have a spring ring class, and I believe this is a Trafari, an older one. I could be wrong. Let's see what that says. Read what it says. Cooperate with me. It says, looks like it says Korea. So that is old. Very pretty. I mean, it is in fabulous shape. You've got polished and textured beads, and they graduate towards the bottom. Nothing is discolored. It's absolutely beautiful necklace. Wow. I'm impressed. Very pretty. I would say it is probably at least 24 to 30 inches long. And I can't measure it because... You left your... Oh, yeah, I did. Hold on a minute. I'll get it. Whoops. Sorry about that, guys. I was doing something else. Multitasking here. This is 30 inches. Are you trying back 30 on? inches. Yeah, I'm back okay. on. It's 30 inches. So it's 30 inches of beautiful golden balls. Beads. They're not discolored. Scratched up. It's amazing. There you go, honey. I want that to go in the third drawer, but I don't know if we've got room in the third drawer. It's getting packed, isn't it? It is getting packed. But yeah. you can fit it? Uh, it's in there. Okay, here, this one's done okay. Okay, thank you. Here's a cute little anchor. It's got the nautical colors, that blue and white. It's stretchy. That's adorable. That goes in. We have this cute little Mickey Mouse. Looks like the Sheriff Mickey Mouse. I can't tell what that says. It's so bright and shiny and silver Disney Napier. So this is Disney. And it's Mark Disney, and it's Mark Napier. Oh, I didn't know they did. Wow. That's a third drawer. 
It's a lion. That's an old Mickey Mouse, too. I know it. The, the face on it, you know. It says L E Leo. Yeah. Leo the lion. Pewter. Isn't he beautiful? That pendant's awesome. I have a beautiful rhinestone pendant. Perfect shape. Intertwining squares. That's a um, rhinestone. Okay. What drawer is that again? Third, I thought. Oh, that's why we don't have it room in the third drawer. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. We might, you know what? Start putting the rhinestones in the fourth drawer. Because I have copper and stainless steel in the fourth, and we'll put rhinestones in there. We'll rearrange them later. Huh? Rearrange them later. Here's a snowflake. It's a, it's a brooch. Very well made and very clean, no scratches. Just an excellent piece. Here's another, older. He's got these blue, it looks like um, sapphires and these beautiful rhinestones, I guess. I don't know, I might be testing this one. Here's the back. Got some tarnishing on it. It says C class. This is an old pendant. So it's vintage. I'm going to set this aside to test it. Okay, we're back. I had to take a break there. Here's a really cute beaded green and these uh, looks like little gold specks in here. It's just missing one French wire, which I'm going to fix these because they're very pretty. Love the color. That's your job. Here it is. You can see the little wedding rings. Isn't this cute? Yeah. It is a, a, oh, and there's the penny. It was done by LDH. And I wonder what year that penny is. 1986 little brooch and I guess you could put a wedding picture in there wouldn't that be that's, cute well, I think that's what it was for how cute is that that is so cute very artisan I'm gonna keep that aside very cute Next one is another pen. The initials PCD. I'm not sure what this is. That's a thistle. Thistle? Yeah. Thistle. Let's see if it's the same thing on the back. Lady Margaret. Cress. What presented by Lady Margaret something Lodge, Willie Wiley Lodge Company. Let me see. Let me use the loop. Presented by Lady Margaret Wiley Lodge D05 Martha Henderson. Chief Daughter, 1948-1949. And I think it says it's 10 carat. It says DNI 10K. So this may be gold, honey. It says it is. I don't need to test that. Let me put it in the test bag. This box. What do you think that is, honey? I don't have a clue, sweetie. Okay. Well, 
here's the next one. You know, usually know everything. I'm disappointed. This has got 925 on it. Let's see if you guys can see it. Come on. 925. It's got a heart. It's got a gold bead in here. And a design on the ring. Smooth on the back. The design comes back over on that side. It's pretty. Okay. I found this little fairy. She's only got one wing. The other broke off. That's very cool, though. I'm going to keep that in my stash. We have these two rings here. This one's silver. It's a little knot. It is a size. It's a size 6. I'm looking out on 6s today. Yeah, that's silver. Then we have this one, and this is uh, some kind of clay piece in there. The ring is worn. On the back is JL Zara, or Z yeah, Zara. Jill Zara. Here's the back. It's adjustable. It's kind of out of shape. I'm going to put this in the craft lot. Okay. We have this bracelet here. It is a box clasp. It's an older bracelet. Class well, it just needs a stone in here. And I'm going to keep that as a jewelry finding and find the stone to go in it. Here's some beautiful marcasite and beaded earrings. Very pretty. There's even blue stones in there. Amazing. Very pretty. I don't know if that's marcasite or not, though. Might just be crystals. Yeah, it's just those blue crystals. That's pretty earring. This is a napkin ring. And these are very cold. They feel like they could be either glass or quartz. They're glass. You see that bubble in there? That's the glass. And that's going into Curiosity. Here's a beautiful bracelet. Beadwork. Very pretty. Very comfortable to wear. Just kind of rolls on and rolls off. These right here are scarabs. Here's the back. I can see this. See that? And here's the fronts. They look like they have silver running through them. Let's come out of this one. And this was a stretchy bracelet. The, the elastic's gone on, out on one end. Those are beautiful. Beautiful beads. And I believe, I don't know what they are made of.
here's um, King Tut, I think. I don't want to scrub that one. Yeah. I mean, rub it, scrub it. Rub it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going to test him. I'm doing him right here. Because inquiry minds want to know. <clears throat> With that ring. Oh, one. Oh, those have been used. Next. Yep. Silver. Got so. Show up for it. Let me do it again. Go ahead and rub this side. That ring, that was for the ring. You can definitely see the blood stain in that one. Let's do this one again. about that one. Okay. Let's see. Let's do uh because most of the time when you go over there the little cartouche place that they sell those, yeah they're silver. That's just let's do the uh, 18 carat and see if that tests it better. Like it fluoresce to you? Mm hmm. Okay. Sure does. I wish I could find the other ear in the back. Test it again, <laughs> Oh, that's, that's a ring. That's a key ring, honey. It's not an ear ring. Oh. Okay. I, I don't know what <laughs> you girls wear on your ears. All right, yeah. let's try this again. Oh, there we go. We got it that time. So yes, it is silver. And it did fluoresce on that, so. It's a very cool charm. Like that. We will bag it and make it, put 925 on it. Right. Here's the pen if you need it. Yeah, it's one of the pharaohs. Yeah, I just said King Tut. I don't really know who it is. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Some old dude. <laughs> okay. Get rid of that. Still in the I put him in the jar. The okay. sterling tested jar. To be tested. tested. Here's some pretty little um, lever backs. Mother, a uh, carved mother of pearl piece here, and wood, and these red chips. I don't know if they're glass or a stone. Gold tone metal. Very cute earrings. Let's see. Let's place them the right way. That's what they look like. Face like they're supposed to be faced. Very cute. 
That was misses a couple stones pretty though. Yeah, this is a vintage and it's worthy of being fixed. Yeah. It is not signed. And I still find it worthy of being fixed. Kind of reminds me of a Coro piece. Very pretty. Second for honey. Second drawer? Okay. Yes. Ooh. That's missing a stone. Wow. It's still pretty. Yeah, it's missing one stone there. It's a crucifix. It's missing the bell up top. I don't know what this is, but it's coming off. Did they put it against the wall so it wouldn't? Well, I know, but it's stuck. Nobody wants to get that like that. At least I wouldn't. There we go. Kind of kept the back clean though. Gotta get that part of it off. That's, that's another day. There's a stone missing behind his head too. Oh, so he's missing a couple of stones. You could take another stone down here behind his body and put it over there. Or just put a new stone in. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, put it in a bag. It's a pretty pendant. Capuchons, round cut, marquee cuts. Pretty pinks. Here's the back. It's in great shape. Wow, this is a pewter piece. Palm tree and shells. There's even a sand dollar there. Oh, it's a spoon. Mm -hmm. Spoon jewelry. I love spoon jewelry. That's awesome. Don't you like that? Let me see what's on the inside there. SJ is all I see. That's very cool. Cool. Curiosity. No, that's a pendant. Oh, pendant, I'm sorry. Yeah. Sure is, honey. Here's a necklace with a rope. It's got an extender with a bead, and the extender has um, textured links on it. Lobster claw clasp. There's your shells and beads. I'm gonna put this in the craft lot because the uh, you can tell the rope's been worn a good bit. So it needs to be redone into something else. Well, here's a nifty pen. Yeah, that's makes me think of. Uh, Star Wars or Star Trek or I'm more like an old airline pen type. Oh, an old but airline back, pen type. Yeah. Maybe you put your glasses there, huh? No, like some stewardess might wear. Or back then you could call them stewardesses. Here, it's but, very celestial looking uh, to me. Okay. But yeah, you're right. It's interesting. It is. It's neat. It's not. Magnetic? Yes. Yes, it is. Still neat. Ooh, this is a beauty. Wow. Beautiful gold color. Beautiful floral design. Hinged. Box glass. Oh, it's got a mark on it. Oh, it's Napier. Oh, okay. That's another beautiful Napier piece. Cool beans. Great shape. Awesome. Third drawer. If it fits. Let's use the skeleton heads. And these are stones. As you can feel the coldness. It's a Shambhala bracelet. Parachute cord closure. 
Halloween orange, pumpkin orange. Oh, and these extenders have little um, hematite beads. Oh, that's cute. Here's a little pendant. Very cute. It's an older pendant. You see the pending, pen extending. It's stamped metal to form this design. That's cool. Very cool. Seeing if I see any markings on it. And I don't. Very ornate. Not magnetic except for the clasp here. Hmm. That's interesting. Hmm. I don't know. It might have a brass undertone. I'm not sure. Might be pewter. Let's see if it does anything. I don't expect it to. Maybe it will April Fool's me. I don't know. No. It's definitely not silver. Okay, the next one is a stretched out, stretchy bracelet. And I'm going to put this in the craft lot. Nice beads. Here's a meshy type bracelet. It's got some wear on it. I'm going to put it in the craft lot. Oh, let me see. Here is, now these are puka shells. They have that curved edge and they fit right next to each other. So this is a real puka shell necklace. This is what I remember from the 70s wearing. Back when you were 10 years old? Yes. <laughs> Almost. Oh no, <laughs> I'm thinking something else. <laughs> By the time I married you, anyway. Uh, 